Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at um, a worked example of converting temperature in Celsius to Fahrenheit. So uh, generally these days in the UK we use uh, Celsius to measure temperature. So we consider room temperature to be about 21. Whereas in the USA, uh, as far as I know, Fahrenheit is used. And... Um, well, what we're going to do is convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. So um, I would suggest pausing the video at this point and having a go at it yourself. Uh, if you go to Google and you type something like convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, then um, you can find a formula for how to do it. So what this is telling us is that you take the temperature in Fahrenheit, subtract 32 from it, then you've got to take that and multiply it by 5 divided by 9. But don't forget that you can't divide one integer by another in Java, or rather you can, but it discards the remainder, so you want to use doubles there. Okay, so pause the video and have a go at that yourself. If you find yourself uh, sort of struggling a bit, that's actually good. You know, it's obviously it's great if you can just write the program but if it takes you a little while and you have to think about it, that's good because all the while you're looking at this program and typing stuff and trying to get it to work, you're learning. So, okay, uh, pause the video now. All right, so hopefully you had a go at that. Let's see how to do this. So um, I'll zoom out here and then here first thing to do is we'll declare our temperature in Fahrenheit, so double Fahrenheit. Um, and let's set it to some temperature to start with. So let's say we want to convert 91 Fahrenheit to a temperature in Celsius. I don't know what that is. I have a feeling it's quite hot. We'll see. Uh, let's also have a variable for storing uh, Celsius. So let's say double Celsius. And what's Celsius going to be assigned? What value will we assign it? Well, we're going to take the temperature in Fahrenheit and we're going to subtract 32 from it. Now, in order to make sure that we do the calculations in the right order here, let's put that in round brackets because that's, that's the first thing we want to do. We want to take temperature in Fahrenheit, subtract 32, and then we're going to work with that. The next thing we want to do is we want, want to multiply that by 5 divided by 9. So let's do that. Let's multiply it, so that's an asterisk, by, and we can't say 5 divided by 9, that would be integer division. It would discard the remainder, so in this case that will give us 0. But we can say 5.0 divided by 9, or we can also say 5.0 divided by 9.0 or 5 divided by 9.0. As long as there's a, there's a double in there, we get double division. That should do the trick. So now we can type sys out and um, let's write temperature. Well, actually, let's write the whole thing out. Let's say um, Fahrenheit. And I'm going to add to that some text, concatenate some text. Um, Fahrenheit, uh, let's say, so this is going to say, that. that's going to say so far, like, for example, 91. So let's say 91 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that should have a capital F. Not on the variables because they have to have a lowercase first letter. So 91 degrees Fahrenheit is plus um, Celsius plus degrees Celsius. Let's run that. I think I had the street cleaner running past, so sorry about the noise. We'll try running this. And there we've got 91 degrees Fahrenheit is 32.7778 degrees Celsius. So, uh, by British standards at least, that's very hot. 
a temperature we rarely encounter, in fact. So what have I done here? Um, well, you see that I've, I basically just joined numbers and text together. And when I, when I join the text to the number, I started off, so inside the double quotes here, I started off with a space. And that, that gives us this nice space here. Uh, so after is, we've also got a space. And that's, that's this space here. And um, so then we've got the temperature in Celsius and we've got finally some more text to finish it off. And we've got a space there as well. So the whole thing comes out nicely spaced. One thing that isn't good is that we've got a lot of digits here. And we're going to look at how to deal with that in the next section when we take a look at strings and text. Um, I don't think there's anything else to say about this. Uh, it's, it should be fairly straightforward, but if you found it confusing, you couldn't do it, whatever, don't worry too much. But if you couldn't do the exercise, definitely type this out yourself and um, try playing around with it a bit, you know, to see if you can change the formatting or whatever. If there's anything in it that bothers you, try to guess how it works and maybe make changes and see if your changes work as you expect. You know, just but definitely type it out, whatever you do, unless you successfully wrote the program. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. And until next time, happy coding.